Welcome to Improving Library Services to People with Disabilities. I am Kate Todd. Now we will explore, is your library accessible? The American with Disabilities Act was passed in the United States in 1990, more than 25 years ago. According to the Department of Labor, the law prohibits discrimination against individuals with disabilities in all areas of public life, including jobs, schools, transportation, and all public and private places that are open to the general public. According to the ADA National Network, the law defines a disability as a physical or mental impairment that substantially limits one or more major activities. In the 25 years since ADA was passed, libraries have made a variety of improvements to their services. Here are six categories of services provided to people with disabilities. Physical space, collections, communications, staff development, programming, and partnerships. When the ADA was passed, initial compliance activity focused on re-engineering library building using accessibility guidelines. Examples of physical space accommodations include ramps, elevators, wider aisles, more convenient shelf height, accessible bathrooms, and signage. Improvements in library collections have also been made. Collections that assist people with disabilities can be provided in alternative formats, such as large print, audiobooks, closed captioning films, and braille books. In addition, librarians have selected books and films that portray people with disabilities, built medical collections, and prepared reading lists that highlight these materials. Communication is always an important component of library service. Techniques for welcoming communication include people first language and communication etiquette. For example, people first language recommends do not use the disability to define a person. Do not use normal to refer to people without disabilities. Avoid negative descriptors like suffers from or afflicted by. Communication etiquette suggests always speak directly to the patron, not a companion. Use a normal voice level. Do not finish their sentences. It's all right to say you did not understand. Some individuals who have a disability use alternative modes of communication to supplement or replace oral speech and the reading and writing based on oral speech. Examples are American Sign Language, Braille, and picture communication symbols. In addition, there are several fonts that can be used on computers such as the ASL fingerspelling finger font available from Gallaudet College and special fonts designed for readers with dyslexia. To ensure that all people with disabilities feel welcome in the library, staff development is essential. Staff may erroneously believe some of the five common myths about disabilities. People with disabilities don't want to talk about it. All people who are blind know how to read Braille. People with similar disabilities want the same accommodations. All people who are deaf know sign language. People who are disabled are miserable and unhappy. 
Although anyone can have a meltdown, library staff are particularly upset when adults and children with disabilities become disruptive. Staff training can provide these guidelines for difficult situations. Meltdowns involve anger or aggression in response to a trigger event. Remove the trigger, if possible. Give the person space. Move other people to a safe distance. Provide short, verbal, concrete directions. Add nonverbal prompts that are not threatening. Respond consistently. Remember that meltdowns generally last less than 10 minutes. Library staff can often be helpful in developing a plan for improving services to people with disabilities. They may have family members or friends with disabilities or even live with a disability themselves. A variety of programs have been designed that can include people with disabilities. Examples include sensory story time, book discussions such as the Next Chapter Book Club, apps for people with disabilities, described and captioned film programs, and read to therapy dog programs. Partnerships can also provide valuable expertise and assistance in working with people with disabilities. Some valuable partnerships can be created with school and special education staff, parents or other family members, a library advisory committee, senior citizen centers, job programs, and veterans groups. All libraries are providing many services to people with disabilities. I think it is important to begin by list, listing the areas where your library is successful. There are also areas where each library can improve. Listing these will be the first step toward developing a plan. 